Hello guys, so let's just continue with the code first for new database. Um, I just want to cover how to make some changes to the database once you do the initial creation of it. And it's uh, pretty simple. Uh, first thing we need to do is go to Tools, uh, Library Package Manager, and open the Package uh, Manager console. And in here, we're going to uh, enable dash migrations. And that's going to create a folder in our project called uh, migrations and in here uh, in here there's a configuration file we can just close that for now we're not going to take a look at it so let's just say that under the uh, student object we want to uh, add another property or another column in this case let's put a daytime column in there and let's call it uh, birthday birthday and then now that we have that additional column so let's just make sure that in SQL you can see so I'm selecting, I'm selecting, let me take this junk out of the way, so it's a little easier to read. So as you can see, I'm selecting all items from the students table and all items from the subject table. It contains the data that we initially entered on the previous example. But now I want to add an additional column to the students uh, table, which will be the birthday. So in here, I just, I added a new property, and I'm going to say add um, migration and I'm going to give it a custom name I'm going to say add birthday and click enter you can see that it created a new file in our solution called add birthday and once we have that file in we can simply call update dash database capitalize the D in there press enter and it's going to go ahead and try to execute that against our database. So let's look at the uh, SQL Server one more time. And I'm going to do a select all here. And now you can see that we have a birthday. Put a default value in there because uh, it's uh, not null. Uh, but it, so it put a default value in there. Now it's the same thing if you want to remove that from there. First thing we, we would do it's remove the property that you don't want anymore and then we're going to add dash migration migration and we're going to say this name doesn't matter you can name it whatever you want if you want to name this that's fine but uh, just for for the sake of organization remove birthday we name something that we can understand so now we created a file called remove birthday, and then we simply call um, update database. And it's gonna run that against the database, and once again, uh, we can look at the database, do a select all, and you can see that that, it's no longer there. If we do a refresh, you can see that the age now is gone. It's as simple as that to update the database once you have it, once you have it ready. Okay, thanks for watching, bye.